Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part three of Let's Play Europa Universalis for Third Odyssey for Elysium on the 1.20.3 version of the mod. The pre-release version has been updated, and I have been said that I, I was going to play on the pre-release version for as long as I could and pretty much just kind of play on that one exclusively because I, you know, didn't know if it was going to be a problem, but I was told by the mod uh, maker Skurik, 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 I'm, I, I, again, I, I know I've been speaking to you, but I'm so sorry about mispronouncing your name. I am very bad with names. But yes, he's a, he recommended that I, um, or they recommended, I actually don't know if it's a he, uh, they recommended that I um, update the mod to the current edition, which means uh, I, uh, you know, I did as they said recommended. Okay, so the plethorists are refusing to pay taxes. We will send our army. Some of our citizens, in particular farmers, have been courted by heathens. As such, they have come to believe that, being an unrepresented minority within our country, they are not beholden to paying their taxes unlike our other, more faithful subjects. The church has made it clear that this is an outrage, and if we do not act now, we'll only embolden the plethorous riffraff. Some have gone as far as to suggest that we should put, down, put this down by the sword if need be. Others, in particular voices within our own court, have suggested that we should exercise caution and fa favour a more pragmatic solution entirely. You know what? Tax the church instead. Yeah, you guys can probably see where I'm going with this. <laughs> um, the deal. Okay, we, we, all we need is for this to grow and we'll be golden. We're not losing that much money, so it should be fine. I also do like, there's one thing I'll notice. You guys probably noticed this as much as I do, that there is little lag spikes in EU4. Which I always find amusing when I play games, specifically like I've just started playing on my own time, Elden Ring. Which is a very graphically intense game. Like Red Dead Redemption, another graphically intense game. I could play those without issues. But if I play games like EU4, the game's like, nah, mate. Too much shit's going on. Gotta lag a little bit, you know? It's, it's always one of those things that I found really amusing. Like, severely amusing. Like, it, it's just... <laughs> Oh, I love it. It's it's what makes EU4 one of those games that's just it's just a treat, isn't it? It's just it's fun. Makes the game um it just it gives the game some some life to it. Uh I have a two unassigned merchants. Well, I can collect taxes from my uh, main node, which should increase money a little bit. If anything, it'll allow me to establish communications, which might actually be better. Let's actually do that for a little bit. I'm not really bothered about the profit right now. I'm more bothered about the becoming friends of these guys. And uh, keeping them off my back for a little bit. Because like I said, I'm going to try the Diplo game. I don't know how strong we're going to be. Um, because I'm not the best at uh, being strong. In the sense of diplomatically. I'm much more... Yo-ho, this is my gun. Type of player. Um, and I'm trying to play it differently. I'm trying to experience the world empire... Which is going to, of course, have to make us be extremely aggressive later on. But I want to try and be smarter f early on. Uh, let's 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 Sorry, my brain gets really stuck on words. Uh, liturgical... That's not definitely... Uh, liturgical... Liturgical reform, whatever. The Eastern Orthodox Church is the one holy, Catholic, and apost apostolic church established by Jesus Christ, our Lord, and his apostles. However, our family is large and diverse. Our patriarch is proposing some reforms to liturgy that will bring f our form closer to the other churches. The idea is bold and will strengthen the church, but we know that the superstitious and backwards will reject this. Okay, this was just a normal event, whatever. Why, why did I think that was a special event? I've not played an Orthodox co country for so long that I actually don't even remember what are Orthodox events anymore. Uh, okay, this is a, uh, a one. Reform the military. A serious problem has recently been brought to our attention. We are trapped in this new world with little manpower and virtually no wealth. Yet our military is still operating on, on the old Roman model, a model which is costly to maintain for not enough benefit. We must reform the army if we are to survive here longer. 
So we could conscript the natives, which is completely just a buff. Or we could expand the militia. I'm going to be doing this one for the sole pay sake of... As much as I like the idea of this, I don't use murder. Actually, not. No, 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 no. I'm trying something new. We'll conscript native warriors. I am, I am, I keep forgetting. I'm trying to do new stuff. That's that's the whole point of this. I'm trying to do something new. I don't. It doesn't matter if it succeeds or not. I'm trying to do something new. New is the game. New is the like. New is the whole point. Got to remember that. I apologize, guys. Sometimes my brain just. I, I, I kind of like kick myself when I'm down. I kick myself into, you know, miss doing something. So hopefully we can keep all these guys on side and, you know, make some friends over here. I mean, the more friends we have, the stronger we'll be and the easier it'll be to, you know, be aggressive in the future. So at the moment, we have 75 months until this sparks. Which is, uh... Cool. I don't really want to be Eastern Orthodox though, game. So if you could, uh, you know, give me a little bit of a powwow, get me out of this uh, hellhole, you know, that would be great. Now, I will also say, guys, like I said in the first two parts, I am actually sticking with my word this time, and I am keeping this to a, a strictly. Uh, I will be re-recording this in two parts every every other day, as long as my, uh, as long as I'm not busy, and I know I'll, and as long as I. As long as I'm not knowingly busy over the next, other, like, you know, when I could need to record, I'll be recording in two-part sessions. That way you guys get as much feedback in and I get to give as much feedback out and we get to do this whole community thing. Like, you know, build this as a community where it's, it's not a, li it's not a live stream, you know, it's not something like taxing like four or five hours of a day. It's something we can do in small bursts. It gives the mod makers, um... You know, little bug fixes because we're doing it on nice slow. So if there's any bugs, uh, like the one that I did mention, uh, this one, we can now see how they are. Uh, this is something I actually mentioned immediately after I finished recording part two. I uh, messaged the uh, develop, uh, the mod developer, and I'm going to look at his name on my Discord because I don't actually want to mispronounce his name because the dude is just been ever so supportive of the channel and this in the, uh, you know, you know, answering all my questions and that. But... Uh, Skurek. So, yeah, Skurek has been extremely, uh, extremely, uh, grateful, extremely helpful, uh, and I'm extremely grateful for that. So, yeah, he, uh, I noticed this, and he did say that was uh, something he'd fixed, and he did indeed fix, which is, I don't know if it was my mentioning it, but uh, I think it definitely helped. I like to say, I like to believe I helped, so that's pretty much the best I can assume. Um, but, yeah, for the most part... Well, our flagship's shite, but uh, what can you expect? As soon as Ivos is done, uh, the Powhatan will be ours. Gold is a sign of nobility. Uh, you know what? For now, nobility cannot be bought. Because right now, that makes more sense for us as a country. Um, I would very much like to, you know, see a conversion towards the uh, plethorists. I'd also like to be your friend. You don't want to be my friend. You you desire to take my stuff. It's mean. Northern warriors offer service. A band of seasoned, if impulsive Viking warriors have offered their services as mercenaries to the Emperor of the Romans. In return for regular pay and lodgings in Ney Constantopolis, they have agreed to convert to Ethan Orthodox fate faith and fight alongside our warriors with some training and a lot of gold they should become fine warriors in time uh we need all the soldiers we can get i don't know how big of a loss that's going to be on our economy it's noticeable but not painful for the most part it's actually really useful early on it also means that those the mercenaries that we can hire, the uh, Vrengen Guard, 4,000 strong men that uh, do cost us a bit of m money, but... They are... Uh, they only cost us one gold a month because of, obviously we can script native warriors, so it cheapens them up a nice little bit. The Vrengen Guard are also a little bit cheaper. They have a little bit... They're just a good, useful uh, force, so it's definitely worth hiring. 
obviously, if we uh, were to go to war, these guys are very aggressive, but there's a minus 4% chance because of peaceful beginnings. Uh, where's that? Ooh. The Hordenese Confederacy. Constantinos XI sat idly as the local nobles continued to bicker amongst themselves. Did these families lack any sense of common decency? It was just the it was just past the break of dawn and three chickens had already gone missing. Sighing, the Basilius silently wished for something, anything to happen. The garrison must have heard his silent plea as a soldier burst into the chamber followed by a stumbling cherub of a man. The room fell silent as the Basilius shifted into his throne. He smiled, finally something to break the monotony of the day. My Basilius, my Basilius, the soldier shouted. As the red-faced cherub behind him stuttered to a stop, this merchant brings interesting news from the frontier. Constantinus' love addressed the merchant with an inquisitive look on in his face. Is this true, merchant? Yes, my lord. Bapori traders from the north speak of a man who has managed to unite the Hardenese tribes. The Basilius, Basilius hummed in thought. Most interesting indeed. A unified Bapori nation could prove to be a most valuable ally. Surely a swift response would prove our intentions pure. However, a strong local power could become a thorn in the foot of our people. A pain felt with every step taken. How should we deal with these people? Such a threat must be contained to notice of the surrounding tribes. Yes. While we are here to be peaceful, being peaceful doesn't get won't get us everywhere. Orthodox zealots take to the street. Following a heated exchange between a plethonist preacher and a priest, a mob of fanatical faithful have been roused by members of our clergy. The mob descended on the homes of the accused heretics. Some have already been killed, but many are still awaiting trial as they are detained by the zealots. This puts us in a precarious position as intervening in any way may single signal that we have taken a side. Even intervening just for the sake of spa sparing those who are innocent may be seen as an attempt to protect heretics from God's justice. I'm sorry, did someone say war? So it looks like we're going to have to arrest the priest. Uh, they'll rest, raise up in Odessus. Send our army to Odessus. We'll get it some uh, morale. We do have a freestyle leader under Skenderberg, so we'll... Um I think we could do it right now. Oh no, they have a lot more morale than we do. We do have a legendary leader comparatively though. So hopefully our losses are far less than theirs as well. Our leader is a babbling buffoon. Who would have guessed? Surely not I. And I've also nearly done, which means we can get this last one done. And where's this confederate confederacy? Oh, so it's... Wait. Either way, it looks like we've got some good opinion with a lot of these little tribes. Yeah, diplomatic outreach even reached these guys, which is nice. It also gave us a nice view up here, which is really useful. So we can start making some friends and soon some vassals. Uh, it's kind of my goal is to try and play this, like I said, very diplomatically. Okay, Ivos is done. So we'll send our colonist over to uh, Reconsis. Uh, national decision. We can now deal with these guys. So, uh, let's wait for the Ivos thing to get its... Uh... I think what we'll do is we'll try and get this one as close as we can. Because I don't trust... I don't know if the Eager Settlers is going to go soon. I don't want the Eager Settlers to go until I've taken this. Because colonizing is... Well, it's a painful thing. So we'll have to see. Now, we've got to do this right. Let's get all our relationships with our allies up and our uh, locals. 
Okay, our army's back to full, which means I can turn it off. And with Ivos, we're pretty much nearly back. We would have been turning a profit had we not um, integrated... Uh, sorry, had we not uh, allowed the Varengains to set up shop. Which I think is honestly good. And the Renaissance is slowly... Why is the Renaissance spreading here? The Renaissance should not be spreading. Oh, because we book up, we brought the books of... Oh, oh, that is awesome. Because we brought the books of knowledge, the Renaissance is slowly but surely uh, starting. That is actually a very nice thing to see. I like it. There is one thing I would, I wish we could see for the uh, Elysians, and that's the frontier system. The only problem is that would be very broken. Like, don't get me wrong, I'd love to see it, but at the same time, super broken. Like, if Elysia was allowed the frontier system, they could essentially just... They could colonize for miles at a time for no cost, and it would be wholly unrealistic due to the fact that we have a little amount of land, men, like people and that. But if we were able to get it later on, that would actually be pretty cool. But I don't think you can just suddenly switch the mechanic on unless you get it by forming a certain part of the Elysian reforms. And even then, I don't know if that's so wholly possible in a way that would be rightfully fair to the uh, balance of Alicia. So I, uh, yeah, my recommendation, oh, sorry, my my whole idea is is okay, but at the same time, it's not a great idea. It's It's one of those ideas that's an in-between idea. So 86% of our core state is Greek. Ah, because Delaware is currently not a state. That's right. And that air is a babbling buffoon. Well, what can you do? The answer is nothing. And I would very like to keep getting my, uh, my military tech up. Just to make sure that these guys stay... Hey, this guy even wants to ally me now. Look at you. You still want my promises. You really need to calm down. Now, eventually, we will start to speed up. But for now, I'm trying to start to keep the early game relatively slow so we can be more thorough and, you know, talk about a lot more and have a little bit more fun. I could use icons. That would be really nice. It's just 10 prestige. I'll lose that for now. Eventually, the deals with power, uh, the um, Poetan will be uh, very, very worthwhile. Uh, reduce the independence of the church. We'll protect the independence for now because at the moment, there's no reason not to. Yeah, yeah, innovativeness is decreasing. That's completely fine. Okay. Right, for the most part, there's not much to say today. Um... And we're having a very, very chill session. That much is clear. I was hoping that maybe Delaware would get done a little bit quicker, but... Damn, we're currently not getting the native population. Really nice if we were actually getting that extra bonus. I 
I would very much like the natives inside of our army. But unfortunately, guys, we're actually going to have to end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube. Give me a like, give a comment. All that fun stuff really does help bring out the channel. Continues to promote the stuff. You know, gets the channel out there, like I said. But most importantly, guys, please do check out the guys who made this mod. They are amazing. They are extremely supportive of those who play the mod, uh, especially for YouTube. And, you know, they tr try to make this mod play great for everyone. But they're, they're always very responsive. They answer your questions. And honestly, they work really hard so go give them the love they deserve download the mod down below go check their discord out it's down there as well and i'll see you guys in the next one see you guys then